Hello YouTube, my name is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a fun little game we're going to do. Uh, I haven't done a Sporkle in a while, so we're going to do a little Sporkle quiz. If you don't know what it is, it's just kind of a, uh, yeah, a, an online website for uh, random quizzes that people can make. And uh, we're going to do the Electronic Music Sub Genres Quiz. Uh, we're going to see if I know the EDM genres, if I actually know what I'm talking about here. So apparently there's 24 potential answers here and a 10-minute timer and we are just going to go for it. It's got 2.8 out of uh, five stars since she rating. So we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, I, this one's, I think, from 2017. So it's been a little while. But uh, uh, let's see how it goes. Hit play now. Uh, first thing, experimental mixture of elements of electronic metal post-punk originated in the mid-1970s in the UK and Germany. Our design for the genres are throbbing gristle SB. I've never heard of any of these ones. Experimental... I mean, is it just experimental? <laughs> no. Uh, is this... Uh, is techno? Is that what we're technically saying? Like, is this is this techno? Or is that going to be something... To oh, it's, that's different. And techno was emerged in Detroit in the mid-late 18... Daft Punk? The Chemical Brothers? Kraftwerk Techno. Don't know about that. Uh, don't know about that. But, uh, okay, experimental mixture of elements. Okay, let's, let's go to another one. Another name for uh, 90s hardcore, fast tempo. Is this hard style? Is that what we're going with here? Hard style? No. Hard style is <laughs> this one. Mixture and influence from hard techno, hard trance, hard house, and hardcore. Yeah, that would be hard style. Okay. Um, what is 90s hardcore electronic with very fast tempo? Is this breaks? Like break, breaks, break core, break beat? No, nope, breakbeat is a wide-ranging genre involving a kick bass that does not follow a constant 1-8 beat. Uh, maybe I don't know what the genre ex explanations are, but... Um, okay, a hard house variant similarly known as Rotterdam Techno, similar to the answer above. Digital Boy Delta. Is this bass house? Hard house? No. Hard house. I don't know what a, I would describe a genre as hard house, but... Uh, let's see. Known for being relaxing, titling with the word synonymous for calming background sound. Is this down tempo? No. Apparently that's liquid funk. A subgenre of DNB while it uses similar bass lines and bars. This is the wackiest subgenres freaking thing I have ever done. I don't even know any of these things. Black Mill Ghost of Paraguay. Deep Central is liquid funk. And I type down tempo. Chill out? Chill wave? I don't know. Most commonly associated with EDM's most popular artists. Initially developed in the UK as a natural progression of American and European house music. Dead Mouse, this is Progressive House. Great. I actually got one right one for one. Okay. The genre of EDM most commonly heard in nightclubs originated in Chicago in 1980s and spread quickly. Madonna? Eric Brides, Mars, Benny Benassi. Is this, are we talking deep house here? Or is this garage? No, it's not garage. David Guetta. And it's not deep house? Is this, what? Progress, it's not commercial house. What is most commonly heard in nightclubs? Is this like club house? I know it's not really a genre, but I don't think it's garage, but. Is it UK garage? UK garage is this one originated in England in the early. That makes a little way more sense. I don't know why it would have been Chicago. I, I don't know. J, J M J Cole Grant. I've never heard of these. The streets. What? Who it did this thing? Heavily influenced around the use of TR eight hundred eight drum machines and funk sampling. A tracks EDK Armin Van Buren Afrojack. Feed me. Is this Electro House? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, Electro, okay, okay, I got, I got another one, I got another one, of one for one, I should say. Synth-generated loops and patterns and intense elements of techno and acid house. Basement, Jax, Junkie XL, The Chemical Brothers, The Crystal Method, The Prodigy. Of elements of techno and acid house. I, like, I would, no, I, this is not Complextro, is it? No, okay. I don't actually know what these are. Okay, characterized by fast break beats and heavy bass and, and sub bass lines emerged in England in the 1990s. Pendulum. Is this drum and bass? 
Drum and bass. Yes, there we go. Most commonly heard at massive night festivals, extremely popular in Germany, and named synonymous for a gigantic party. 1980s hardcore first appeared amongst the Hass. Oh, yeah, bass nectar. Yeah, that's the one. That, this is that's not trap. Hybrid trap. It, 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 we really tried bass house, but massive night festivals. I, I actually don't know this. Synonymous for a gigantic party. Oh, this big room house. What? I don't. Maybe I don't know my genres. <laughs> uh, emerged in the late 1990s in South London, England, as a development with a lineage of related styles such as the two-step garage, broken beat, drum and bass, jungle dub, and reggae. That's like a billion things in one, but this is dubstep. Okay. Genre music that was popular in the 1970s, though it has since enjoyed brief resurgences, um, including the present day, also was a reaction against the. This is new disco. Not new disco, just disco, just disco. Apparently, an EDM subgenre is disco. It'll be new disco. Come on. Described as a genre that adheres to the aesthetic of failure. What? The aesthetic of failure? Uh, Psytrance? This is infected mushroom glitch. Glitch. It is glitch. I mean, infected mushroom, I would say, is trance and psytrance, but sure, glitch. The aesthetic, sure. Commonly associated as old NES style. Okay, so this has got to be like 8-bit. Produce the sound. Yeah, this is is 8-bit. Chipped. Okay, I was going to say 8-bit's not really an EDM genre. Chip tune, I could say, would be an EDM subgenre. Commonly associated with horror and intense emotion. Faster variant of hardcore techno. Around 190 to 270. Pitched of varied low sounds with pitch scream. What the frick? Is this like speedcore? It's terrorcore. Oh my gosh. This just <laughs> uh, recently made extremely popular by Armin Van Buren, Mark Schultz, despite early presence. Characters. This is, is this not, prog we've already did Progressive House, Big, we've already did Big Room House, Just House. Just House was the earlier one. I'm, I was thinking too crazy. Like, how would you have Progressive House and House in here though? What? I don't, it, this is, if it's not Big Room and it's not Progressive and it's not Commercial House, it's already tried Deep House. What other house is there? <laughs> I don't know. Another name for the type of music commonly heard in clubs. The word means to enjoy music through physical movement. Calvin Harris, Fapos Axwell. Like, I don't freaking know what this is. I would say this is big room or commercial house. Fatboy Slim is, oh, I don't, this is weird. Emerged in the early 2000s, type bead. Oh, typified by complex two-step 4 by 4 breakbeats, generally around 140. Is this not... This is breaks. Is this not? Breakbeats. Noisia rough. This is drum step? Bro step? No. Soul music with a greater emphasis on beats. Originated in the mid to late 19, emphasized on a melody and harmony that brings a strong rhythmic groove of electric bass and drums. T. <laughs> cool and the gang, Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know, the classic, your classic EDM artists, uh, Cool and the Gang, and then Earth, Wind, and Fire. What the frick is... Okay, Trance has got to be here somewhere. So what is Trance? Oh, the, uh, that's Armin of Buren. Okay, that one, that one I, I could have got. That one I could have got. I should have just thought about Trance there. Um, but are we going uplifting trance? No, is this... Okay, what do we still have here of the big genres? We I tried to try down tempo. I already did garage. I already did chill out. Um, hardcore? Hard step? Like, I'm, I don't know what this thing is trying to get at here. I got a minute and a half left. Um, Bass. If we just do bass, melodic dubstep, melodic bass. I know color bass is obviously not even a thing yet. Um, electronica, electronica. What am I missing here? I, I'm sure some of you are screaming at your at your screens right now. I don't know what I'm missing though. I uh, reggaeton. How do you even spell reggaeton? Isn't it like reggaeton? Ton. I don't know how to spell reggaeton. Reggaeton. Uh, uh, emerged in the early 2000s. Typified two-step. What are we missing here? Like hardcore something? Hardcore drum and bass? 
dance floor drumming? Dance. Just dance. In the EDM subgenres, we're using... I... I understand now why this has a ratings this low. I would give this rating even less. Dance as a subgenre of EDM. I, I don't know anymore. 20 seconds left. Uh, what other thing? Can, drum. Bass. Uh, dub. Wub. Uh, chill. This is vibes. This is new. This is, uh, I don't know, music. Let's see what we have here. Industrial. Okay, I can get industrial. I can get industrial. Okay, happy hardcore. I, I wasn't just thinking too. I wasn't thinking that exact. Gabber? I've never heard of that genre in my life. And then ambient. Okay, I should have gone for ambient. Okay, yeah, I should have gone for ambient. Big beat. Sure. Rave. Just rave music. Come on. Grime, okay, I, I guess, and funk. No, these aren't, no. This is a wild quiz that we need to make a new one. We need to make a new quiz here. This is this is wild. But this also just goes to show that at some point, we don't, subgenres don't really matter. It doesn't really care what we call subgenres. We got to just enjoy the music as we do. But this quiz is wild.